to the Toronto. There below is Barclays Center and the borough of Brooklyn, where there's never a dull moment. It's been an absolute war out there. Neither side giving in. Both want to advance to the next round. It's the Eastern Conference Playoff Game 6, right here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. D.A., it's all yours. Well, Kyrie Irving rediscovered his maternal lineage with the White Mountain family of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. He lost his mother at a young age, and by connecting with her roots, he's found a piece of himself. The tribe gave him the name Little Mountain. Kevin? Great story, D.A. Thank you. Here are the five for the Raptors. Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Lowry and Powell, the guards. And it's Johnson in at the three slot. And for the Nets, Lavert and Durant out on the perimeter. Jordan is out there with Allen, and it's Irving at the point. And so off the tip, it's Toronto. Johnson outside. Back to Lowry. Feeds it to Gasol. And the layup's good off the glass. We know he can shoot it from the outside, but I love to see Mark down there on the block. Lowry against Irving. Allen left side. Levert from outside. Shot clock reset for the Nets. He doesn't hit that one. And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. And the Nets with possession here. Irving looking for an opening. KD against Siakam. KD passes to Irving. And it's off from three-point range. Right wing. Lowry gets to Gasol. Lowry dishes to Gasol. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Gasol's got his second bucket of the game to go. That's a high percentage look for Marc Gasol. He loves to face up and knock it down. Outside Irving, shot from the wing, and that's good for two. They finally hit one after missing three straight. Here's Toronto now. They come into the game following the win on Sunday. And it says a lot about you that even when you're not at your best, they definitely were still in that game and able to win comfortably. And really, how scary is that? That's not even close to their peak form, and they still got the job done. The shot by Powell, no good. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Here's Pop. After the basket by Brooklyn. Back to Lowry. Launches it. And it's Durant with the rebound. And KD's got the ball here for the Nets. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Jordan. And it's off the back rim. No good. Toronto's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Lowry against Jordan. Lowry passes to Gasol. That's it. And he's now 3 for 3 and looking sharp. That's how you like to set up a big man for the shot. Gasol just catching it and letting it go. Lowry against Levert. Back to Irving. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Four on the shot clock. Lavert with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. A nice shot by Lavert. Well, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto.
big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Allen. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. Joe Harris is checked in for Karis LeVert. And Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Irving. A new group in now for the Raptors. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Gasol. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siaka. Hyundai Hollis Jefferson, he's checked in for Stanley Johnson. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. Dinwiddie following the score by Serge Ibaka. Dinwiddie passes to Chandler, and Chandler throws it down. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Here's Alice Jefferson. Powell with it. Hounded down by Prince. Ibaka outside. There's Alice Jefferson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Raptors shoot their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. He's off on the first. Second free throw, good. Brooklyn's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Harris kicks to Dinwiddie. 106 left to play in the first quarter. And a missed late. That's a two from Powell. You can't get that one. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Dinwiddie left side. Jordan at the elbow. Puts it up from 12. That one a little long. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. And Ibaka slams it in. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Now here's Prince. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. No good from Jordan. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Here's Van Vliet. Inside, two on the clock. Intimidating presence on defense. DeAndre Jordan has all the tools in his toolbox. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Raptors out in front, up two. And we'll be back right after this. And this team has shown their toughness and determination. And Kyrie Irving talks about what he sees in his teammates. What's going to separate us is how close we are. And when we're in the trenches together, I'm looking to my left and to my right and knowing that these guys have my back. Mm -hmm. they, they certainly do. This team has assembled some hard-nosed, unselfish players. No better group for Irving to surround himself with. And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. And what do you guys think about the Raptors here so far in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Ananobi out there with Hollis Jefferson. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then there's Norman Powell. And it's Ibaka. In at the five, Roman the paint. Now here is Harris. He's still scoreless so far in this one. To the paint. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Harris has got the lead up to two now for the Nets. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Toronto calls timeout. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor.
big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Jared Allen's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Kevin Durant comes in for Wilson Chandler. Harris LaVert's checked in for Torian Prince. And Irving subbed in for Joe Harris. A new group in now for the Raptors. Marcus Alls checked in for a buck. Pascal Siakam comes in for OG Ananobi. Johnson, he's checked in for Rondé Hollis Jefferson. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Norman Powell. That play is made because of Kyrie's vision and his willingness to share the basketball. Here's Lowry, and it's sent back by Allen. Shot clock at six. Goes back up. Rebounded by the Nets. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait, but you can't blame him. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Raptors trail by eight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Johnson outside. Six to shoot. On deep. It's rebounded by Durant. I'm not sure if anyone on the team has the green light from there. Definitely not him. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name and causes your coach to consider another line of work. Still trying to find the range. He hit one in the first quarter. Nothing since. Bentley still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the Raptors miss again. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Now Johnson. After Spencer Dinwiddie missing on that last three-pointer. Johnson. And terrific work on the offensive glass. And he picks up two. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by Brooklyn. Irving against Lowry. Irving kicks to KD. <laughs> and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. They get Marcus Gasol. In terms of height, Durant was not a late bloomer. Already a six-footer in middle school. The Nets shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Shooting two. And he makes the first. There's a check in for the Nets. And Toronto also making a switch. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Marcus Gasol. Duran hits them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. The drive by Siakam. Two points, that one goes. Siakam's got his first two points of the night. Strong finish. Siakam with great balance, able to complete the play through contact. One twenty-two left here in the second. against Irving. Got that bucket. Irving's got the lead up to eight now for the Nets. It, it really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. Johnson finds Siakam. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. KD's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. No one covered. And it's an 11-point Nets lead. Well, this is what makes Kyrie so dangerous. He is so proficient from distance. Stolen by Levert. Here's Allen, and then Allen slams it in. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Now, here's Lowry. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That one goes in. Wow, Kyle Lowry has nice balance on his jump shot, and he was square to the basket. There's 14 seconds left now here on the second. 
Durant with it. Five on the clock. From deep three-point range. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? I come out with a, you know, intense focus and intensity that you know, other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know, keep our tempo. Um, you know, guys are in a, in a great rhythm and we have a great tempo, so just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, we hope you've enjoyed the first half. I'm Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Checking out Brooklyn. They clearly can sense how close they are to wrapping up the series in six games. They'd love to close it out here and avoid a game seven. Let's start with you, Shaq. What'd you think about the Nets? Once again, Kevin Durant, so consistent in his approach. Very seldom does he have an off night. And then once in a while, you have a night like this, he's unstoppable. Looking at Toronto, Kenny, your thoughts? Well, they shot under 40% in the first half. Here's your deficit. They missed some open looks, wide open. But overall, I thought the offense was stacked. Look for their coach to draw up some specific plays to try to jumpstart them in the second half. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Hart. as our round one coverage continues. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. Allen is out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's KD in at the three. That's the group starting the second half for Kenny Atkinson. Pass to Allen. Shoots over Powell. Allen's shot is off. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And Siakam throws it down. Aggressive move from Siakam putting all that length and athleticism to work. Now the pass to Durant. And he drops in the layup off the glass. KD's got 10 points. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Now here's Gasol. He has six. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. Marcus all baited him into that one. You don't have to be a great athlete to live at the line. The Raptors have converted one of two free Take throws break. so far Take today. Break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. One of the best all-around bigs in the league. Gasol continues to modernize his game. Wilson Chandler's checked in for the Nets. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. And then for Toronto, OG Ananobi's checked in for Siakam. And it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson in for Stanley Johnson. That one is no good. Brooklyn leading by 11. Irving with a clean look. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Avert defending. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Thomas Jefferson, Powell for three, and that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got four rebounds in this game. The kick out to Irving. Jordan dishes to Irving. He 
can't get that one to fall. Good D by Gasol. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his first foul. Finwood is checked in for Karis LeVert. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Prince outside, just five on the clock. Here's Jordan. Some solid defense from Gasol. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. Goes up with a strike. It's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Hollis Jefferson. Three out of four coming out of the half, showing good execution on the offensive end. Pass to Irving. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And Zulawi will bring it up for Toronto. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Powell kicks to out. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Nets. Jordan's got his sixth rebound on the night. Floats one. That shot, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. And here is Powell. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Outside Lowry. Pass to Gasol. Jordan with the rebound. Brooklyn leading by nine. Now here's Dinwiddie. Makes it off the glass. Dinwiddie's got his first bucket of the night. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. He's trying to help his team shut the door. They don't want to allow any comebacks. Toronto calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. For Brooklyn. Allen's checked in for Jordan. Kevin Durant comes in for Wilson Chandler. And Harris subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And then for Toronto, Serge Ibaka. He's checked in for Gasol. Pascal Siakam comes in for OG Ananobi. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. And again, Toronto no luck. Brooklyn leading by 11. Here's Durant. And he lays it straight in. Durant's got 12. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Dinwiddie with the steal. And here we go. Dinwiddie heading to the hoop. And then Durant with the jam. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. And he can't stop the run as he misses. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Let's the three fly. Rebound by the Raptors. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. That one falls. He has five. That's nice work stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Dinwiddie outside. That's in coming off the assist from Katie. And the Nets lead by 16. 
The defender was pretty much helpless right there. This man had a clear height advantage, and he got the exact kind of shot he wanted. And so it's Brooklyn in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. Back right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. So for Toronto right now, Siakam and Ibaka, the duo down low. And Van Vliet out there with Norman Powell. And it's Johnson in at the small forward position. Now here's Durant. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Yep, that one goes in there. Yeah, if you wanted to list everything Durant's great at, it would take a while. Siakam against Durant. Here's Ibaka and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Uh, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. Pass to KD over Johnson. And that one off the back of the rim and in. KD's got 10 points here in the second half. Van Vliet passes to Johnson. Back to Van Vliet. Shoots over Dinwiddie. They get it again. Siakam. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yes, people have been surprised by Siakam's offense. What I'm surprised about is the efficiency. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Real good, Siakam. You have to give Pascal Siakam a lot of credit. He's continued to improve the shooting percentage both from the field and the line. And Brooklyn making a change here. Jordan's checked in. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Now here's Dinwiddie covered by Van Vliet and that one good and loving the strategy even though you're well ahead you want to stay in attack mode you want to stay aggressive right at the rim driving another nail into the coffin back to Ibaka pocket six 14 feet away and again Toronto no luck well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Now here's Allen. Lynette's need to get a shot off here. And when his shot is off, his inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Here's Dinwiddie. Knocked away. Here's Allen. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And the first one at the line is good. And the Nets may get a change here. Irving's checked in. Then for the Raptors, Marcus All comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Lowry in for Fred Van Vliet.
he's off on the second. Raptors trail by 18. Johnson outside. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Back to Lowry. Powell for three. That falls. Nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. Outside Irving. KD on the wing. The pass to Levert. There's the three. The shot misses. Now Toronto takes it the other way. Levert against Powell. Baseline try. Brooklyn with the rebound. Allen's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Passes it to Levert. Left side Durant. Pass to Jordan. It's deflected. Powell against Irving. Pass to Lowry. Gasol dishes to Lowry. And he banks in the lane. And there are guys who can drive like Lowry, but not many that can shoot as well, too. That's what opens up his penetration game. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They're ahead by 13. 149 left in the fourth quarter. chance to present our Jordan player of the game Kevin Durant yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball you, you need a little bit of luck a bunch of hard work and a whole lot of talent and he'll head into the second round with his confidence at its highest level he couldn't have picked a better time to take his game up a notch now here's Irving over Lowry Again, no good by Brooklyn. And it's in there. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they're not into this game, they have to get some stops. And it's Irving missing. Raptors trail by 11. Outside Lowry. It's Powell on the wing. And again, Toronto with the triple. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now, here is Irvin. Over Gasol. KD's shot is off. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Got that one, and the Nets lead has been kept down now to just six points with that basket from Kyle Lowry. And the shot by Lowry is the definition of clutch. He relishes being the man in these moments. Serge Ibaka has checked in for the Raptors. Irving double team. Avert kicks to Irving. Here's KD. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. When Durant gets inside, nine times out of ten, he's going to score or get fouled. Shooting for Brooklyn, Kevin Durant. Taking two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss.
He's able to hit the second one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And it's the Raptors' ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Johnson kicks to Love. Money! And now they trail by just four. So often, Larry's the guy setting up other guys on this type of play. This time, he finishes with a catch and shoot. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They're up by four. 15 seconds left to play in the final quarter. seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one and an intentional foul there stops the clock no choice but to foul there but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line good on the first and that puts them up by five So both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. Toronto calls timeout. They trail by six. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth. What's your take, guys? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Not only do they need a bucket, they need a three just to give them any chance at all. We've got 13 seconds left in the game. And they go to the intentional foul. Drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Toronto calls timeout. They're down by eight. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Licking their wounds. It hasn't come together for them tonight. They are left picking up the remains of their game plan. Better luck next time. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the Raptors miss again. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. It took them six games to do it, Greg, but they finally asserted themselves and move on to round two. And I really think it benefits a team to have a competitive series in, in round one. It gets those playoff juices kind of flowing, if you will. Prevents any kind of complacency from setting in. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. 
Thanks, guys, with DeAndre Jordan. Nice win tonight, but I'm sure you're looking at the schedule and up ahead, one of the best teams in the league. Yeah, it's going to be a big test for us. Uh, you know, they have some great big guys, great guards. And, uh, we're familiar with some of the guys on the team. Um, so we just got to come out with that mindset and, uh, you know, it's us against the road. So we'll be a good one. It'll be a good test to see where you are, DeAndre. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports.